Life just got a whole lot better. We've raided our first few cargo containers on top of Timberwolf Mountain. Well, not on top, but near the top. And we found ourselves blessed by the food gods. Today, we're going to try for the summit and see how close we can get. I do uh, kind of feel like we're taking the long way, but uh, that's just, it, it just is what it is. The reason we're encumbered right now is because of the stuff that we've raided. We are going to spend some time in the beginning of this episode, passing the night, regaining more condition. We have plenty of food now. I, food is not a concern. I just want to get back to where there is fuel for a fire. We've got some sticks that we can light. But if I go back a little farther here, I know that there's some cedar to be discovered. Yeah, go back this way. And we can have a fire near that that can last a good while. We don't even need the fire to last the whole night because we're inside a cave and it's warm. My torch is once again going out. Yes, I reloaded the save to get, to get my torch time back from the end of the last episode. Damn it. But hopefully I think it will last us until we get to the cedar. Maybe. Perhaps. I don't feel like the way I took before was quite that downhill, so I I might I might be going a different way. Yeah. Sorry, Torch. No, not a flare. Lantern. There we go. Don't have a ton of lantern fuel either. Yeah, I don't remember going down quite that windy of a path, so... It is certainly possible we have started off this episode lost in a cave. Nope, we haven't. That's some of the firewood that I was talking about. So we could start a fire here if we wanted to. But I think what I'd rather do is go back to where we first spotted it, which is up this direction. I believe there's an opening up yonder. Here it is. Now, this is just one limb, I believe. 45 minutes. That's okay. Let me go ahead and put this thing away. I want to save every second of lantern fuel that I have, because I don't have a lot. Now let's smoke out this cave, shall we? <laughs> Another thing we found is a ton of wood matches, like a ridiculous amount. It's crazy. All right, so 95% start chance. If the torch had lasted, I would have lit the fire with the torch just for you guys. Just to make you happy. Just to make your hearts sing. With joy and elation. Put some sticks on the fire. Hour and three minutes. Fire is plenty warm enough. And now we can chop this bad boy up. Sorry, I'm being paranoid. Yep, we've got time. We've got time. Breakdown. Hypothermia risk gone. Now this is an indoor fire, so the fire timer is much more accurate. We could always search for more coal as well. That's another thing that we could do to get additional... All right, but I'm just going to pile those sticks on. Why the heck not? Now let's take a torch, and we're going to go get the firewood from down the hall here. And there could be more that I forgot about, but I feel like these are the two major limbs that I spotted. And I will definitely look for more coal. So there is a branch break that down. Shouldn't have done that. I should have done the limb first. We don't have it. Oh, it's a fur limb. Very nice. I might have already seen that, but now I remember. All right, there we go. Now, of course, it's freaking dark. Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. I know. It's because you're carrying a whole bunch of loot. Glorious, glorious loot. So we're going to use this fire to cook we will need to cook some of the coffee and tea. It's going to be useful to us. So I'm going to cook some of it. Whether I go through all of it, I don't think it's necessary. But we do. We need to pass some time until we are in better shape. And of course, we'll need to get water for that, for that whole equation as well. So you're starving, huh? Well, we can deal with that too. Believe me. Okay, nine hours. That's perfectly fine. as I burn the bearskin bedroll on the fire. Everybody panics. Okay. 
Now, if you're hungry, we can we can we can deal with that. Oh, the condition on the bars is actually crap. These won't give me food posting, will they though? They're they're energy bars. All right, I can I mean I'm I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna see what happens. Yeah, I can totally eat these. Or maybe not, maybe I'm just getting lucky. Yeah, screw it. I'm gonna eat all of them. Perfect. Very, very nice. So, what I'm going to do is have some water going here. And then we're going to start cooking. I'm going to start with my herbal teas, because having the herbal tea will help me rest and regain more condition while I rest, which is perfect for what we're about to do. Like, I cannot wait. So we're going to pass time until it's ready and take it. Pass time until that's ready. I have to keep an eye on that. And take it. Pass time until that's ready. How close are we to... Oh, look how close we are to cooking five. Holy crap. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Oh, this is... This is why Timberwolf Mountain is always worth the squeeze, so to speak. If you can... You can make it. Yes, that was a subtle reference to the girl next door. Let's see. Take. Take. Now, water seems to be a slight issue, so I'll drink some of my water. I have to be making water while I'm making teas. Because, of course, every tea that I'm making is taking up some of my water supply. All right. Are you boiling already? No, you're almost boiled. Now you're boiled. Go ahead and drink it, and I'll take the rest. We're well into the night at this point. I'm very optimistic about how this is going to go. Let's take that. I'm going to keep cooking teas. I could cook coffee too, as a matter of fact. Just a few, because that'll help with my energy. And then I need to drop a lot of the clothes that I picked up, because holy crap. All right, three minutes till melted. Let's take that. Yeah, I just have so much herbal tea to make. Let's let's go down to the coffee and start making that. Not gonna drink it yet. Okay, we're out of our potable water. I'm not surprised. So we're going through our water supplies pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and do a double water. Seven hours, forty-one minutes left on the fire. Sounds perfect to me. Resume. So now, like I said, coffee. Past time until ready. I need to find a place to rest. I know. We'll get to it. Chill out. One more. Take it. Take it. All right. How much water do I have? 0.34 gallons. Still not a ton of water. So. Part of me just wants to keep cooking on this fire until I'm utterly exhausted and then sleep and hope the weather's decent when I leave. I mean, there's only six hours left on the fire, so I can't... I can't cook the whole time. But I suppose what I'll do is just... yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. This is a good way to pass the time and it's a good way to get us to cooking five. Yeah, we need to... I need to build up my water supply a little bit. I mean, yes, all of these drinks I'm making also will help my, my water situation, but that doesn't change the fact that I want to make sure I'm well stocked on water. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Sorry, brain fart for a second. All right, there's that, and then new. Cook. Let's do a few more teas, because reasons. Because reasons. That's all I need to tell you. Our 
We're pretty damn tired at this point. I'm gonna drink that water, and then the remainder should go in my belly. Yes, I know I could have had a cooking pot with me, and that would have made things slightly easier. But we're doing okay, all things considered. There it is. Cooking five. Let's have a look, shall we? 25% calories from any cooked food item. No calorie loss when smashing open cans. Cooking times reduced by 30%. Ready times increased by 20%. Never get parasites or food poisoning. Never. Ever, ever, ever. In the history of the world. It's amazing. Cooking five, ladies and gentlemen. I am very, very excited about that. Okay, now I think I can safely... How much water do I have? 0.33 gallons. Here's what we're going to do. Let's take that. Let's go ahead and make some water here. And I do want to just sleep here for the remainder of this. I'm going to drink this so I get the condition gained modifier. Good to go. I know. So let's go ahead and eat some stale salty crackers. Yes, I am aware that that is going to reduce my thirst a bit. As a matter of fact, just to satisfy the last of my OCD, I'll make a little bit more water to make up for that. We've got time on the fire. Let's take that. Now for the extra fun part. We're going to sleep. The fire's going to go out, and we're going to have to make our way out uh, using the um, using the lantern. And hopefully I'll get my bearings when I do. But let me go ahead and drink. Yeah, I'm not even over my encumbrance limit when I wake up. And that's with all the clothing I picked up, which, by the way, I realized that I could harvest a bunch of this stuff. Let me, let me double check. Okay, I've already got thick wool sweaters. None of this stuff is as good as what I already have. It's just not. So I'm not going to worry about it. Alright, golden. Still don't have any ear wraps this series, which is weird. But now we are absolutely ready to sleep for a little while. I could add some coal to the fire and it would definitely last a while longer. Let me get rid of the ruined torch. I'll keep the coal. I'm going to be warm in here, so I'm not going to worry about it. Let's sleep for... I mean, we can justify a full 10-hour nap right now. This brain risk has gone away because we are well-rested. Perfect. Look at that condition meter. 71 days, 19 hours, 34 minutes. Let's pick up the bearskin bedroll. It's midday. That guy who drank. <laughs> Hush and drink. Interesting that that interrupts her now. Has it always interrupted her when she's saying a line? That was very appropriate. She was complaining about thirst. That guy who drink who uh, drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. But all right, let's pick that up and let's get moving. Um, which way did I come? I I, I think I yeah, this way, downhill. Yes, 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 yes. I remember. It just didn't seem so downhill when I was traversing it before. But yeah, I got my bearings pretty quickly, thank God. And I don't want to waste this fuel. There's that torch that I... Torch! <laughs> There's the torch! Kind of like Mega Fergers. Still always back soon, I promise. There's the torch, ladies and gentlemen. Can't go without your torch. Torches... Torches are life. We've been in this cave for, I'm honestly a little bit surprised, 15 minutes of gameplay. Uh, crap. I think I went this way the first time. Losing my lantern fuel. Not cool, not cool, not cool. I think I have a torch on me that I can light, don't I? And I, I found a bunch of matches. Yes, there we go. Let's use wood matches. Yeah. That's better. Should have done that in the first place. This is a full torch that we found. I think it's the one that was by the dead guy. A 
as I take a sip of my drink. The weather is utterly flawless. So, I'm gonna wander up this direction. Feels like 13 degrees, we're not even that cold. No snowflakes in the sky, that'll probably change in just a few moments, but for now I will enjoy it while it lasts. Trying to remember exactly where to go here, but we're very well rested, not fully rested, but very well rested all things considered. There's a dead guy with a hatchet. Don't need the hatchet, but I could, could make use of the things in his backpack, potentially. Hey, dead guy, don't mind me. All right, so this torch, all right, the wind did just pick, there it goes. I was literally about to say, this torch is gonna blow out. That's gonna happen. All right, so I think there's, where we're headed is there's a cave up here and it's not a, a cave like the one we were just in. It's the, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is kind of an enclosure, and there is some wood here, so we could light a fire. Now it's really cold. Yeah, the wind chill changed things quickly. Shouldn't have said anything about the perfect weather. Should have just... Should have just relaxed. But this area here, we're protected from the wind. It's a good kind of, um... It's, it's a good location to pause and collect yourself if you need to. Wow. Yeah, there is lots of wood laying around, just like I said. Even a bedroll and another torch, which is quite nice. I will go ahead and pick up the torch because it's always nice to have an extra. I'm guessing that's a full torch as well. Yeah, there's wood in here. Um, there's wind in here too, which is a problem. But we could light this on fire and heat back up for a second before we kept going. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to do that. I'm trusting that it will stay in good shape. We're going to need a stick. I'm trusting that based on its location, it will be protected from the wind. And I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. 95... Wow. We're, we're, game. Game. That's... That shouldn't be the case. That's a lie. <laughs> we're... There's no... There's no sign... We're, there's a there's a rock ceiling over our heads. We can't we can't use sunlight right now. But hey, if you're gonna let me, I'll do it. Come on. All right. I just saw wind touch that that smoke, so that's not encouraging. One thing I have noticed, I can't remember if I've pointed this out yet in recordings. One thing I've noticed is that the breath is finally more translucent. Finally, that's something that's been a problem in the Lone Dark for quite a while, and I love that they changed that at long last. All right, so I'm gonna pile on some stuff here. I think I'll keep the fur firewood on me because it's, you know, fur firewood. Now we're warming up, which is exactly what I wanted. I am going to heat one of my teas. Tell you what, I'm gonna heat one of my coffees. We're gonna drink it. We're gonna use that to break down that other, I may not, even need to... Yeah, part of me just wants to keep going. I may not need, need to break this down yet, but what I think... I think what I'll do is I'll break this down. Cedar limb. Oh, yeah. Alright, I was right. There are still big cedar limbs. How much time is left on the fire? I knew it. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. That's an entire hour to break that down. You know what? I'd rather break down the small ones first. That's too much time. I want to head for the summit today, so... Fur limb takes 45 minutes, that's better. And it's fur, so. Good. Stayed nice and warm. Nice and warm. Not sure I can carry much more. Let's go ahead and I don't know. Do I do I, do I need to drop anything really? There's I mean I'm slightly encumbered, so I would need to drop stuff to climb ropes. But not a lot. Seriously, not a lot. I've got so many matches now. Holy mother of God. I'm going to drop all of my cardboard matches. And I'm also going to drop every wood match that's not in that mega stack. Because I just, I don't, right now, I mean, I can always, if I feel really bad, I can come back and get them on the way back down. If we come back down the same way. But, good God. I mean, there's just so much. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. What else could I drop? 
Mm. It's the wood, really. Alright, so the fatigue reduced benefit has gone away. Tell you what, just because we're about to be heading out, let's use what we've got left on this fire to heat up one more coffee. I'm gonna drink it. It's gonna give me some calories. Pick you up. And I want to drop enough wood. There we go. I'll keep two fur firewood on me. Perfect. Take torch. And let's keep going. As I recall, we need to go this way. I have a vague, vague memory of the direction in which I'm heading. I do feel like I'm going the long way, but this is the way I usually go. So it's, it's, it's I'm going with what I know. Let's see if we can make it. The weather stays this kind. Right. So that tree is theoretically pointing. Oh, wait, is this a... Oh. Okay, I don't know anything. I don't know what I'm talking about. I need to go the other way. <laughs> well, um... I don't remember which way to go. I'm just, I'm just going to see if visual cues will tell me. So I'm going this way then. that I wandered all this direction wasting this uh, this torch. But I've got more torches, it's okay. Yeah, the coffee really helped me get energized again too. So I'm high condition. All of my meters are in good shape and I have plenty of food once my starvation starts to get low. I don't want to lose my well-fed buff. But uh, this is... Um, I don't want to get lulled into a false sense of security either, but this is going well. All right, now I think... Yeah, this way. That's right. That's right. See, there's kind of a tree that's kind of helping me out. It's saying you need to go this away. That's what I'm looking for is the visual cues. Hey, bunny. Let's put the torch away. Don't need it. Looks like there's some old man's beard. Might as well grab that while I'm right under it. Snow starting to fall. That could be a sign of things to come. Need to be careful. If I can make it all the way up to the tail section, I'll have lots to loot. Potentially even more awesome items. What am I wearing right now? Yeah, I've only got trail boots on because I haven't found any mucklucks yet this series, but mucklucks are in these settings. So do I cross here or do I go there? I don't remember. I'm just going to go this way. Just don't want to get another sprain. Stay off of the slopes. Oh, a rope. Do I have to climb that, or is there another way? I think I have to climb that. Memory serves. I've still got coffee in me, which is helpful. How much longer? Ah, I might have the coffee's help for this rope. I can always drink more coffee too. I don't. The coffee doesn't have to be hot. I just wanted the warmth benefit. I'm a little bit worried about the weather. It's getting bleak really quick. I'm going to let this episode run a little bit longer than usual because I do want to make an honest attempt at the summit. And I spent a lot of time in the beginning. You know, I said we we're going to go for the summit, but I spent a lot of time cooking. So make up for it by going a little bit longer. Let's climb, shall we? I'm going to need to eat some, uh, some crackers soon and then drink some stuff. In order to hydrate, what I'll do is just drink some of those coffees because they'll give me energy back. It's like free sleep. All right, let's go ahead and do that, as a matter of fact. So, eat some stale salty crackers, probably two boxes worth. And this also helps because it is slightly reducing my burden of encumbrance. All right, now, oh wow, still have 22 more to cook. What about, and three more herbal teas. So, we found a lot more coffee than we did at herbal tea, but hey, I'll take it. I'm going to drink... 
Uh, I'll stick with just the one coffee for now. Fatigue reduced. How much time is left? One hour remaining. Glorious. I do not... Oh, yes. Okay, so that is the... There are... Is that called the... Something about a deer this way. Deer clearing, right? I think that's what the name of that area is. Alright, so there's a deer straight ahead. I'll take that as a reasonably good sign that I'm heading in, in the right direction. Because I remember I had to go past the deer clearing. Okay. Ooh, that's a container. Oh man, awesome. I wasn't expecting that. Sweet. My warmth buff is gone, though. That makes me sad. There is a cave in the deer clearing, so I might have to run to the cave and rest. I might have to backtrack. <laughs> what do we got? <laughs> Whetstones and tools. Oh, okay. Stuff that I have plenty of already. Especially if you go back to Coastal Highway. Evidently, there's some new stuff in Coastal Highway, too. Oh, wow. Cured rabbit pelts. Lots of cured rabbit pelts. I can use those to repair some of my stuff in the future. That's handy. All right, well, that was a lot of stuff that I don't necessarily need. So, I'll tell you what. Let's drop the rain torch. Let's drop that flare. <sighs> I know. I know. Okay. Um trying to think. Yeah, I'm going to backtrack. I don't want to backtrack, but I've got enough to justify just hanging out in the cave for a night. I do have my bedroll right. Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, if you guys had a nickel for every time you've heard me say that, you would be billionaires. Is that where the cave is right there? I might be looking. Yeah, I think I'm walking straight towards the cave because I can see the icicles. The, um, stalactites. Fun fact, if you never knew this about icicles, you know, when you're looking at ice caves, there are some that grow upward and some that grow downward. If you ever forget which are which, stalactites, and this is, this is true, I think, of, um, I think it's actually true, I think it applies more specifically to rock formations, right? Not, not icicles. But anyway, I think it is rock formations. So the ones that are downward are stalactites, the C as in ceiling, and then stalagmites grow up from the ground. Hence the G, stalagmites. Fun fact, if you didn't know. All right, so I'm warm enough once I get back to this fire location. There is a metal container, forgot that was here. Nice. All right, so I've got some fur firewood on me that I could use to make sure I'm okay for the night, and there's more wood around, so I think I will go ahead and start a fire. Use a stick. Um, I'm going to just go with the wood matches here. My fire striker is way too low condition, and I'm sentimental, and I don't want to lose it. Go ahead and add that fur firewood now, or should I perhaps go out and get some wood instead? Let me look around in the cave to make sure there's nothing in here, because, you know, <laughs> there's always that possibility. Let's see what sticks I can find outside. There are definitely limbs very close, so that's, that's reassuring. Let's look for now just for... scavengeables, things I don't have to chop up because I'm not particularly warm at the moment and I want a fire that's going to last a little bit longer than the one I just started. Well, 
afraid of losing condition, but I'm at a point where I'm, I'm okay with losing a little more. As long as I can see sticks. Yeah, you have. You, you literally have. In this series. Multiple times. Your memory is short, Jennifer. <laughs> Whoa, is that... That's a deer. <laughs> that is definitely a deer. Okay. Okay. Now we're not... Because of the coffee we drank, we're not particularly... I mean, if the weather stays decent, I could just keep moving. But part of me wants to rest here for the night and recover even more condition if we, keep, if we can keep this fire going. That's been a familiar refrain for the series for the past several episodes, you know? But, um... Let's see, what else can I do here? I can keep cooking. I definitely need to heat up some tea. I do need to pass some time, period. Just on account of the fact that... Yeah. Let's finish the teas off, since I know I don't have that many more teas, that many more teas to cook. I seem to remember there were only three left, right? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Yep, that was it. All right, so I've made all of my tea. And now I can definitely go back outside. Let me drink. I'm not ready to rest yet, but I will drink one of the teas all the same. Just for the warmth bonus. Now that I'm relying on that a little bit more. Appreciate you guys. How much time is on the fire, by the way? More than enough. This looks like a big limb. So it might take us a moment. It is a big limb. Perfection. Oh man, we lost our bonus, but we did not use up that entire meter. Beautiful. And that was a cedar limb. So that will... I think we have enough to get through the night now. You have shelter, my dear. You do indeed. We're looking at it. All right, so I have got a fire that's going to last us through the night, period. It's also plenty warm. So let's go ahead and throw down the bearskin bed roll, get cozy. Hope for good weather when we wake up. But I suppose, since I'm not fully tired yet, the best thing to do would be to continue to cook for a while. Whoa, hello. Here we go. There's a lot of coffee that I need to make. Like, it's just a ton, so it's a good way to pass time. And now I'm not doing it all at once in the plane like I did last time. Still making sure I have enough water. Okay. I think I'm going to rest when my exhaustion hits halfway down. I think that's going to be the best way to go about this. Okay, it's almost done. Almost there. I didn't need to do that. I could have had a coffee cooking for that time that I was passing. Oops. Actually, no, we're going to keep putting water there. And... Yeah, <laughs> did the same thing. Dang it. 
did the same thing. Okay, so there we go. We're at about half exhaustion. That's good enough for me. Let's pick up that coffee. Get the water. Pick up both of these. And then we do need to drink. So I'm going to drink a cup of herbal tea. Don't have a lot of water, so let's let change my mind. We're going to do one water round just to top ourselves off there. And pass a little bit more time. And drink that water there. And that will completely top us off. And then this will just take, pick up, pick up. Good. Five hours. However, I have one more for firewood. Seven hours. Beautiful. Okay. 100 degree fire. I think we'll be okay. Let me eat one more stale salt crackers and we'll drink a little bit of water. Also is my... I think I should probably drink another tea. Because my rest benefit is not going to last the full length of time and I want to make sure it does. Okay. God knows I have enough tea so I can afford to do a few of this. So let's sleep for... We've got seven hours on the fire. Let's sleep for seven hours. And hope we don't get mauled in our sleep by something invading the cave, because that would suck. Fire should keep those things at bay. Okay. So we have, we are back into our blue condition bar. We have more than 100% condition, which is really quite amazing. We, I, wouldn't, I didn't expect to gain condition climbing Timberwolf Mountain, to be completely forthright with you guys. We are fully rested. I do need some water in me. And it's not quite daylight yet, so part of me just wants to keep cooking for a bit in order to pass the time. Another thing that I could do to pass time is let's look at the condition of my various items. Let's harvest what we can harvest. We're just going to go through do some inventory management. We've got the fire, so that gives us the opportunity to do so. Don't have any scrap metal with which to repair that, sadly. I don't need all of those rifle cleaning kits. I really don't. I just, I just don't. I also, oh yeah, I picked these up too. I don't need either of them. Okay, there we go. Now we're not encumbered anymore. I forgot that those were in there and I wasn't, I just wasn't paying attention to the inventory. Okay, so still 12 coffees to be made. So we plowed through a lot of those. We're reasonably hungry. Let's see some of my cattails. Actually, no, we're not. I heard the lip smacking and I assume that's what that was. It might have been thirst instead. You can hear that little that's when the survivor's letting you know that uh, it might be time to oh wait, no, 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 don't drink that. Alright, so I just drank half of a tea by accident. Oops. Alright, so the weather looked reasonable. Where did it? I can't even see outside anymore. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, it's a little early to be heading out, but here's what I'm going to do in the name of exploration and keeping this episode moving. Let's heat up a cup of coffee. Let's drink it. Take a torch from this fire and let's head out into the night. It's not long before the sun's going to start coming up. It's going to be really cold. And also, it looks like visibility is low. Hopefully for you guys, not so much. But we're going to walk up this direction. Now, supposedly, this is the way to go. I see some birch trees, so I'm kind of navigating towards the birch trees. Finally going to get some birch bark for this mess. Dad, did you hear a bear inhale? I think I just heard a bear inhale. There's birch bark. Two birch bark, nice! Heck yeah. Let's 
That's one newer gameplay habit I'm definitely going to get myself into, is making the birch bark tea. can't remember how close the summit is. And I'm a little bit... This is really widening up a lot more than I remember. I wish I could see the peak right now, but I'm going to go this way. We're staying relatively warm thanks to our torch and our coffee. Trying to keep my eyes peered, peeled. <laughs> eyes peered. Trying to keep my eyes peeled for wolves. It's this way. Climbing location... Where does this go? I don't remember climbing down. Oh man, now I'm nervous about getting to the peak this episode. Um, why did I think this would be easy? Why, why did I... Why do I do this to myself? Um, creepy noises. I don't know, I feel like if I go that way, it's back the way I came. Am I... What's that over there? Is that a rock? Okay, this is definitely a cliff. Like, there's no other way to look at it. It's a cliff. Hang on, let me light one of the good torches that I have. use a wood match. Yeah, this is a cliff. This is 100% a cliff. I don't know where I am. Feeling a little bit more confident. Given that the weather's decent, the sun's about to start coming up. My warmth meter is reasonable. I'm well rested. Things are certainly better, but I do not know where I am. I need a little daylight, please, game. Just a little. If you could help with that. I can see the sun trying to peek up, and I can tell that it's starting to get light. But I just I do not have any clue. I always get really nervous whenever I walk straight up a hill like that. As should all of us. Oh, wait. Hang on. This... I, I remember this. Something about these trees. I really do. Okay. If I... Okay, hold up. Hold up a minute. This is a dead end. Is it a complete dead end? Oh, my warmth bonus is gone. Cold is making my head feel thick. I know. It's really cold. I'm with you on that. I actually, I feel like I'm, I'm near the top, aren't I? Something about that path. Yeah, hang on. This doesn't look good. All right, the tree's pointing upward. Okay, hang on. How much 
fuel do I have on me? I have a few sticks. We're going to use the torch. We're going to light a stick on fire. I'm going to drink coffee. I might have to stop this episode. I There's not... I don't know enough without daylight about where I'm going. I'm amazed nothing's attacked me in the night. Perfect. Okay. Now. Let's see. We are going to heat up a coffee. I'm going to drink it, and that'll give us a warmth bonus. There we go. A little bit better. I'm going to stick with the torch that I have. Is that a climbing point that I see there? What am I looking at? And why are those limbs pointing downward? This, I feel like this is the climbing point down to the cave where I was before. Oh man, maybe those trees weren't what I thought they were. Okay, well, right, I'm gonna give it five more minutes. I told myself that this could be like a 50 minute episode, like a double length episode. The sun is coming up. We're going to lose some condition because we're wandering around out here. And it's... If the weather turns, this ain't going to be pretty. I just thought I was closer than I appear to be. And I am now... Oh, hey. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm being pointed. Why does that look like the deer clearing? Do I get back home? We'll warm up soon. This looks familiar. Let me stand up here just for a bit. Yeah, I do. I need to keep a close eye on my health because now we're in a situation where we're going to get hypothermic and lose a bunch more condition, but I feel like I'm so close. And there's just something I'm not seeing. make a mistake and step on the wrong side of this rock. Eh. Okay. A little more daylight now, at least. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going down a slope that's too steep. Why are you point... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's the container. Oh. Okay. I don't have my bearings, and I just got a sprain. <sighs> Alright, well, I didn't have my bearings nearly as well as I thought I did, as far as like, where I was going. So, this is a little bit annoying. I mean, I have already been to that, right? Yeah, that's, that's the deer clearing. So I, I don't know where I wandered in the night, but it was not the direction that I thought I was wandering. Dang it. Yeah, definitely already been here. All right, well, for Jennifer's sake, I am going to go back. Now that I know where I am and I have daylight, that was an entirely stupid and a bit of a waste. And I'm kind of pissed off about it. See, I thought I was going up there in the dark, but evidently I didn't go as far as I thought I did. We're going to go back down to the deer cave. I'm going to pick up some sticks as I go. And I will have to stop this episode here. I thought I was going to get to the top, but given that I was wandering the exact wrong direction most of the time, and you guys are probably screaming at me, I am going to not waste all of the gains that I've made condition-wise. I would hate to do that. 
We're gonna go back, get inside the cave, rest for a bit, recoup our warmth. Inside. Again, grab a few sticks where we can. Keep the fire going. And in the next episode, we're gonna get to the summit. It's just gonna happen. Might have bitten off more than I could chew with a 50-minute episode here. But that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so even by the campfire location when it's not burned out. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start this. I need a save point, so I'll make one. Even with the campfire not going, is what I meant to say, we are in good shape here. Really glad I got cooking five. That's awesome. Come on, little fire. Man, that was this episode, wasn't it? It was just much earlier. Shouldn't have wandered out at night. I was oh, yeah. getting a little ambitious. Okay, we've got a ruined torch. This doesn't do anything for the fire, but it just gets rid of it. Okay. So, again, I... Well, actually, one thing I can do... Hold that thought. I was going to say there's nothing I can... There's not a lot that I can do, given that I don't need to rest for that long. However, there is one thing... Gonna heat up a cup of herbal tea. We're gonna drink it. I'm just gonna sleep for an hour, and that's gonna give me my save point. I'm gonna warm up. I'm going to recover a little bit of my energy. And in the next episode, looks foggy as hell, but at least it's daylight, and uh, we will have the ability to actually seek in the correct direction. I really don't know where I wandered off. I, th I think I might have just gone left when I thought I was bearing more right. And that that m might be what it comes down to. Because I generally know, I think, where I'm going. I'm trying not to look at a map. <laughs> might I might have to. Might give it one more episode before I say, screw it, and look at a map. But uh, for now, I'll stop this one here. I know you guys have enjoyed the long one. Or maybe you didn't, because I was just wandering around like an idiot. But... Maybe at least you enjoyed hanging out. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, if you did, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.